Hey, I'm Dan Lambert here with Ginger and the Desert Creations. We are going to play around with the last commission. I am doing a paint job on an Elvis record. Uh, let's go paint! We are doing warm colors. This is an absolute mess, and I hope it will turn out beautiful. Let's just see, shall we? Coming in with the white. Just probably a little bit more paint than we need on our custom cut swipe tool. Where is my rag? Right up here, push in, pull out, and there we go. Nice lines of that yellow and orange. Crazy purple, that lacing is insane. Very happy so far. Looks like we got a little green coming up in here. Not exactly unexpected. Check out those colors on fire. out. I'm going to have to do that again. Come back, do it again. Do it, do it again, do it again. Doing it again. There we go. That's better. Pulled lots of that yellow up in there. Got lightning going on over there. That is amazing. M using. Now we got green. <laughs> Trying not to miss too many gaps. A few are okay. Colors are so alive on this one, it's insane. Let that develop. Fluorescent color showing up. Excellent. Last swipe through right there.
Kiss it with fire. has a shot at being my favorite red thing I've ever made. Very, very Southwest vibe. Very bright and explosive. You would have no idea that I did it with rings and dots with the way that the colors turned out. You had a bit of mixing there for green. That's okay. I love that we got the pure blue up there. There will be some areas that it's just nice, shiny, like this right here. With that Xanadu gold, there's a couple of Dorado stripes in there. I can't talk. Color mixing is crazy. We've got electric lacing. This is going to be an eye popper when it is dry. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it will. Hey, hey. Stay tuned for the dry result. This sucker has so much more of a comic book feel than I was expecting. I don't know how crazy I am about the purple. It's a little prominent in two places. I wish it kind of would have behaved more like it did at the bottom, but, uh, you know, something's got to do what it wants to do, right? I love the turquoise in it. We've got, can you see the metallic effect? With the two golds, which I absolutely love, two golds. Let's go in and see some of this electric lacing. It's fantastic. White and yellow and bright colors do tend to get the electricity of the lacing. Some lava hot stuff going on Yeah. I like better how the purple represented down here. The yellow gets a little aggressive, but then disappears around this side. I always love how the, that picks up the black here and there and just shows it off immensely in tiny little spots. Crazy, crazy. So this one, this superhero Marvel comic something or other, I am just calling it POW! Because it kind of looks like one of those uh, like campy Batman when they when they hit somebody and it's just like this explosion. I don't know. Weird mood, I guess. Thanks for watching. Comment, and like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye. Oh, geeking out on color. We're going to make this a largely red piece. Well, let me just introduce you to the colors and we'll go through it as we go along, yeah? Decor Amethyst, Chrome Molten Metals Dorado Gold, Chrome Molten Metals Xanadu Gold, and Arteza Pearl Turquoise are going to definitely be accent colors. Soho Cadmium Orange Hue, Arteza Carmine, Arteza Bordeaux, Creative Inspirations Lemon Yellow, Soho Floral Red, and Soho Cadmium Orange Deep are going to be essentially the colors that we are striving to use as the base coat. I am going to do this a bit differently than I have done any of them so far. I'm going to try to do this in rings instead of radials. Wish me luck. So right here at the center, I am going to go around with lemon yellow. Just flood the sucker with some lemon. Right there, so that center will very much draw attention.
right outside of that, we are going with the cadmium orange hue. Nice little stripe this way. These are quite, quite thin paints. We're going with a fluoro right after. This is thicker, I can already tell. Touch of that crazy fluoro. I hope that wasn't a lump. Was that a lump? I'm just going to hop in there with my fingers. Yes, that was a lump. You live there now. Carmine, I don't have a ton of this. Choo choo all the way around. Hooray! Just enough. And this glorious Bordeaux. Love this color. Out to the edge, use up the whole cup. I'm going to put in our little pops, little pops of color right there, there, there. There and there. A little bit of the turquoise there, there, there. There. And here. There. Sick amethyst. Right there. Right there. So I need one up here. Kind of. I'm going to crowd the turquoise right there. Make them share space. Dorado Gold for a light sparkle sparkle. Right there. Ooh, lots. Xanadu Gold for a darker sparkle sparkle. I had contemplated doing this as a black swipe. Um, I don't think that'll get me the, the effect I'm looking for, but I am going to put in little patches of the black just to get a little bit of variety where it picks it up. And that is the Amsterdam Oxide Black. Amsterdam Titanium White is our swipe color, and we are good to get started. It's a crazy little mess. All right, if you stuck around with me this far, thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.